Hi everyone, welcome back to God is a Geek, I'm Gaz. Uh, today I'm here to talk about We Happy Few, sort of. Well, the developers and the publisher, they actually sent us something. Yes, it's a wooden box. And, you know, given that I didn't exactly give the original game a glowing review, I was a little bit worried about opening this box. Bomb! There's a bomb! Everyone out! Let's go! Let's go! This is not a... But what they did send us, which I'll show you, is a box of sweets. A box of sweets, which is kind of nice of them. And I'll be honest, I didn't know what I was going to do with this video because just a taste testing of sweets, probably not that interesting. And I'm not going to go all ASMR on it either because I don't have the voice for that. Inside that box, there's also some postcards. There we go, there's one. Um, that one actually has a message on it, which I'll read out in a sec. Uh, then there was this one. It's all quite nice artwork. I mean, that was one of the things about the, the game itself, was it had a really nice art style. Go on, give it a big old <laughs> Know, looked very very good that probably not the best one to describe this one because you know um, yeah <laughs> but yeah in the, the game itself the original game I just it was a bit too confused what it was and it, yeah it it was a bit disappointing whereas the uh, the DLC uh, they came from below was a lot better um, you can read my review on that if you like and you'll find out why I liked it, but I will talk about it again in a sec while I eat sweets. Um, yeah, the message, uh, which is handwritten and not that easy to read. Um, <laughs> Dear Gary, warmest greetings from Wellington Wells. We were pleased to see you enjoyed your visit to our lovely town of Wellington Wells. Not sure I did, originally. <laughs> We are so relieved to report that the citizens you reported in, as town troublemakers have all disappeared and we can barely remember them. It's, it's really, it's nice writing, but yeah, it's not easy to read. Um, we do hope you enjoyed your stay. There are all sorts of new things to say. Okay, are they really? <laughs> there are rumours that Dr. Faraday has created robots. Which, yeah, that's a thing from the DLC. Um, supposedly her faithful assistants, um, something fairest Roger, I think you might say. Fairest Roger, who's the guy you play, Roger. Um, claim they are dangerous and she doesn't even control all of them. Such imaginations these boys have. Yeah, Rog Roger and James, they were the two. They were actually sort of in the game. There was a story surrounding them and Dr. Faraday in the main game. Please come back to our utopia, our utopian bliss, and be sure to plan for more trips in the spring and summer, which I'm guessing is a hint to when the next DLC comes out. You never know who's going to be, get, uh, who's get, going to be getting up to shenanigans. Don't be a downer. Kind regards, the cit citizens of Wellington Wells. Nice. The DLC I really enjoyed. Um, again, you can read the review to find out exactly why but it was it was good it was kind of more like the Bioshock sort of linear story that it was supposed to be or it seemed like it was going to be um, in the main game but yeah the DLC was a lot better it was more fun there was a bit more humor to it which worked well and it had a surprising amount of heart with the the story because like Roger and James were a couple, but it was kind of, I mean, you, you kind of knew even when you saw the the house when you got there in the main game, but in the DLC, you, you're never quite sure as they go through because it seems like they're fighting it. Um, and it's not exactly accepted in Wellington Wells. Well, well you know, it's not a nice place, so they're that's why. So yeah, let's have a look at some of these sweets. Um, I'm not really a sweet eater, to be honest. So this could go probably wrong. Ooh, fizzy blue bottles. There we go. Thankfully not fizzy 
blue bottles because I don't want to eat flies. Wow, it doesn't want to open though. I'm not strong enough. I should have prepared and brought scissors. Eh. I'll just craft a knife. It's a craft knife because I used to do art. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Wow, those smell. That's a very strong, like, sugary smell. And those are very, very, very sweet. Which you expect from one of the fizzy ones because they are just coated in sugar. Um, in the DLC, yeah, there, there was a bit more puzzle solving, a bit more just general gameplay. It wasn't the survival, they got rid of the survival stuff, which is one of the best things they could have done because it was horribly out of place in the main game. Um, Next up, we're gonna go with the classic cola bottles. See, I'm not a, like I said, I'm not a sweet eater, so this could go horribly wrong. That could just be like going a proper sugar high later on. It could be worse, you know. Like I drink coffee all the time, so. Mm. I hope you're enjoying these eating sounds. I'm going a little bit ASMR on you. That's hot. How about some jelly beans? Ooh, jelly beans. Ooh, nutritional info on jelly beans. It's just bad for you, but fuck it. The yellow one. I'm going to have another one. Yeah, if you uh, if you ever, ever did pick up We Happy Few and you weren't so keen on it, if you still own it, do consider this DLC. I don't think it's that expensive. It's maybe like six or seven quid. Um, and you do get a good couple of hours out of it. What else do we have here? Oh, you got the fried eggs. Refresh or choose. Love hearts. I should say these these sweets were sent kind of like you know like joy, the whole thing in the main game. I think they were supposed to be kind of like that, you know? They're not they can't sell you actual or send us actual pharmaceuticals because well, no. Moving on, we've got Palmer Violets and Fizzers. Which I've never actually heard of Palmer Violets. Say what? Foam shrimps. I want to try one of these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have one of these. You can't do anything about it. Hmm. Not much taste though. And finally, we have snowy stars. Might as well try one of these. Wow. Those are very sickly. I do not want another one of those. That, that wasn't particularly pleasant. Anyway, I'm going to leave it with that. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have, give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Go to the site, godisageek.com. Read all the reviews, previews, news, all of that stuff. And let us know what you think. Hopefully you enjoy everything, and I'm still getting the taste of that horrible, horrible snowy star. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye guys.